All right, class, thank you for joining me today, and we are going to be playing some Fallout New Vegas. All right, everything's going good. All right, get that working right. All right, good stuff. So, if you remember last time, we tried to go on the strip, and then a whole bunch of other stuff came up, which pretty much made everything take too long. We have, have enough time to go to the strip, so let's see, anything I need to drop? Oh. That is... I'll say no. Anything over here? Probably don't need two doctor's bags. No big deal. Probably don't need that many gecko sticks. I guess so we're gonna drop off a couple of healing items just because in New Vegas, if you survive for... More than five minutes, you're going to start accumulating a lot of healing items. Kind of the same thing in Fallout 4. Don't need two doctor's bags or something. One. Okay. Get rid of some of these. What else, what else can I afford to get rid of? Get rid of some of fruits. Nice stalker tails. What else? What else? Yeah, I'll hold on those. Never know. Mm, okay. This stuff. Anything I drop over here? Huh? All right. Too easy. We're gonna go hydrate real quick. Source and hydrate. Always, always, always want to hydrate. What was the string? Right now? Mm -hmm. Will they be streaming when I'm done? Okay. Hydrate. some last minute things we can still do before we go in the strip. Let's see real quick. Hey, Cake Shinobi! Glad you can make it. Glad you're here to lurk. Hopefully you're having a good day. I'm having a good day. Where's it at? Okay, I don't know where it is, but that's okay. So, we are gonna go to the strip. Three mm -hmm. side, east gate. How have I not discovered that? Maybe I haven't discovered that. Okay.
Oh, yeah. What do you want? Hey, you're the one. Yep. There you go. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Oh, they got meth. They got them drugs. Uh, if you didn't join me yesterday when I was streaming Fallout 4, we did some stuff for Mr. Cabot. And also, uh, took care of McCready's mission, dealing with the uh, gunners. Fantastic stream. Had a lot of people come. Had two raids also. Proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Damn it, my science isn't high enough. Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Please return when you. Alright, so we're gonna go visit Make a Ralph real quick. Because they, uh, pretty much wouldn't get a passport onto the strip for, uh, a thousand caps instead of two thousand. Usually my science would be a bit higher, but there really isn't a whole lot of stuff we can even do anymore. I mean, I've completed most of the missions. Like, let's see. Yeah, can't do that yet because my science is high enough. Can't do that because I'm on the strip. Don't care. Got to get in the strip. Uh, that is not even going to be done because uh, Captain Curtis is a mole and pretty much this will require us to kill him and that will piss Caesar off. And the three D four DLCs. Next week, I will be doing Fortnite on Tuesday, Fallout 3 on uh, Wednesday, and Fallout. I'll make it Ralph. Ralph. There we go. And a uh, random game on Thursday. That's what I want to do. Might do Bully. Might do Hitman Blood Mike. Do any number of things. That's the right way, right? I believe so. Should be. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. That's a drug guy. Hey, thanks for getting Bill Ronte fixed up. I was really getting sick of paying for water. You're welcome. Now, what can I do for you? 500 cats and a few Here you go. Yep, here you go. You'll need to use a terminal to upload the data to the robot. Hmm. I can always take care of this time. Let's go away. Leave me alone. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around. Ow. And then 
I plan on starting the DLCs right before we get done with uh, the... Pretty much right before the final mission. Where we attack, it, it we're going to attack found. Hoover Dam and take out the NCR and all that. Just because I want to make sure that I am 100% leveled up as much as possible. Ready as much as possible, especially when doing bitch ass uh, dead money DLC. See, because dead money has one of the best storylines of all the DLCs, but god fucking damn is it difficult. Because I don't care how good you are, that shit will drop you down right to zero. And especially this since the fucking creatures in that DLC have like fucking maxed out perception so they can see you from a mile away. Like there ain't shit you can do to try to sneak up on them or anything. Submit to a credit check. I did. Thank you, sir. You may proceed. No, thank you. This motherfucker. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Consider me your personal welcome. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Well now... It was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog. He'll be waiting. Joy has Becky. No loitering. Let's Welcome to go. Vegas. Come back. Make your visit. Yeah. Alright. Oh, he's right here. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Bullshit. Come back soon now. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna be here. <laughs> what? Okay. Wait here. Should have brought. And wait here. Are y'all gonna stay, or are y'all gonna be a bunch of stupid bitches? Where to, partner? Penthouse. Me. Mr. House. Penthouse. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. You're a robot ho. I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests Ew. lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. No, I'm good. Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Who are you calling special? 
Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it, but that counts in my book. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. Mr. House has a lot of needs, sugar. I take care of all of them, and a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Then maybe you shouldn't pry into a lady's particulars, hmm? Anything you like, sugar? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino, or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take them and put them with the rest of the collection. time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. No shit. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? <laughs> a crude question, crudely asked. Crude. I'll be happy to satisfy your rambunctious curiosity at a more appropriate moment. But now, I'll repeat my question. What do you make of what you've seen? Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still, she manages to impress. Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Very well. Five times the bonus. Not one cap more. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? 
What did you wish to know? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. What else did you want to know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I'd planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless. But I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy. But in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. Mm -hmm. It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Frontal assaults on casinos, not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. 
Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. I see you've made a study of the topic. My knowledge of the science of longevity would fill several textbooks. Perhaps after a decade or two of economic reconstruction, I can commercialize these technologies and offer them to others, such as yourself. Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else? It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic, but we'll hold off until the platinum chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? Well enough. Be on your way. Yeah. Now technically right now, I could kill Mr. House if I wanted to. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Casino floor. Ah, I get the feeling y'all want to see me oh. deal with bitch ass Benny. Bitch ass Benny. We're gonna deal with bitch ass Benny. Or should I take that back? We're gonna deal with the uh, that one dude. That, that's hey, the you there? I have a message for you. Hold on. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Fuck him too. Watch out! What? Oh. Yeah. Gone. Oh shit! Here we go. Fucked up. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, we're gonna go. No, no, we're gonna go inside. Let's go inside. I like that. They attack me. Pretty dangerous. Okay. Fuck him! You gotta give a shit. I'm starting up the mobile. Come on, some guy slashed out. Give me a reason. Yeah. Oh. Grab. Yo shit. Grab. Yo shit. Okay, um, should we, I think that's it. All right, I think that guy who the uh, Van Graffs told me to deal with is this guy. Yep. Huh, so the, the Garrett Garrett's. sent you to track me down. What a joke. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid, but if you insist, draw. Oh, I will. Over here! 
Oh, turbo. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? Yes, motherfucker. All kinds of easy-to-hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Suit yourself. It's not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. Fuck off! I'm trying to clap a guy. Come here. Come here, Lola. Come here, Lola. Alright, now I'm... Where'd you go? Sir? You know? I'm gonna sell you some shit. Back again? Need a weapon? Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for eye in the trigger. Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. The others here don't understand our kind, but you can count on me, friend. Mm-hmm. All right. Something like that. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. That shit in the Garrett's. Yeah, they're not too far away. Some gamblers came in saying they'd seen you enter the Lucky 38. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't know of any other living person who's been in there. Yes! Where's his hat? Not here. This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey. Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent-free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. <laughs> Cap's up front. We don't do tabs here. All right, so you some more shit. Actually, hold up. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another satisfied. So. This is one of. Mm-hmm. 
As I said in a previous stream, once you exit the Lucky 38 and an NCR guy and a Legion guy approach you, I don't know why the Legion guy hasn't approached me yet, uh, your affinity with them is reset. So if you're like enemy with the NCR, you can then, even if you've done all the stuff I've done to them, you can still uh, work for them. Don't be carrying any guns into the casino. I do what I want to do. Anybody just around here? Who's that guy? He looks shady. I don't know you. In no? America, it has a hood under the. Hey. hey, come on, pal! I'm trying to put on a show here. You're welcome. Shut up. All right, but make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. The name's Knight, Billy Knight, and this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi! That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point. If you believe my mother, since she first laid eyes on me. First thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. Breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap. Real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. Oh, yeah. oh. Our forces suffered a huge blow at Forlorn Hope. Okay. We'll remember that. Okay. Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. Hey, Bisswalker. Glad you can make it. Hope you're doing well. I am doing well. What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like Heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make the living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. All right, kid. I'm taking a liking to you. It's a deal. Where I come from, we appreciate good intentions. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon.
three. Another repair, another medicine, and another bar. Ooh, here we go. Alright, let's see when you stuff we can find. NGX. We need that. We need that. I'll do this one. No, wait, never mind. I thought that was like for a weapon.
In case you run into company, you dig? I'll tell the boys to give you a pass to pack some heat. Go on then. Elevators to pass the slot mm -hmm. machines on your left. This was like man about the boy. Alright, mini suite. Go over here. And then bathroom. Go to the bathroom. And then go over here. Then meet yes man. Hey! Hi there! Good to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and to code his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. It's what Benny always called me, probably because I'm programmed to be so helpful. He was around here not too long ago. He's probably down on the casino floor now. You can wait for him here if you like. I'm incapable of asking you to leave. Sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the Platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitron. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? Maybe. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again. Goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the Platinum Chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew he was carrying the platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? 
I know that's not true, because you still have a head. Ha <laughs> ha, that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. You should. I feel really bad telling you this, but I kind of can't die. I mean, go ahead and destroy this Securitron. Get it out of your system. The problem is that a distributed image of my neurocomputational matrix is backed up to the network several times a day or when I'm threatened. I can't help it. There's a little bit of me in every Securitron on this strip. So if this instance gets destroyed, I just download to a new one. If I could stop it from happening, I would. I mean, your vengeance is going to feel so incomplete. Benny carries it with him at all times. I think he's paranoid that someone might want to take it from him. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kapow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too like the Boomers, the Great Cons, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you're right. I mean, for one thing, it's you saying it. And you always know what you're talking about. True. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up. And a lesser person might want that kind of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? Of course, ask away. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. Yeah. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well, that'd be neat, wouldn't it? So you know what, I'm gonna save this. Tired of it. Because I'm not doing the Yes Man playthrough, so anything with him, Yo, isn't really worth it. Because I'm not gonna be doing this quickly. What's this? Oh yeah, this is how Benny would escape from here. 
if he was to try to escape. Because there are different things that you can do with Benny. Like, you could let him live. If you're a female character, you can sleep with him. It all depends on how you want to play the game. So we're going to go downstairs, talk to Swank again. Let him know more about bitch-ass Benny. Say Benny is right over there. I check coat. Ding 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 ding. Okay. Swinky. You're back. Find anything? He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's ballsy. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Well. Oh, Benny. Hello. Many, 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 many. Come here, Benny. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. Yep. Baby, this is not the place to go talking about that. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. I got my eye on you. It's no funny business. Yeah, if you Don't get go up there the without Benny, Don't and you go in his uh, suite, then those four bodyguards uh, go up and pretty much try to kill you, and hopefully you have your weapons on you, and then uh, he escapes to the fort. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? house was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You got a crazy drop on me here, baby. That's for sure. If killing's what you came for, this would be the time. But baby, you'd be disappointing me. All the trouble you went through to arrange this shindig must be something more you're after. Yep. Then this is Ensville, baby. May the best man win. Oh, yeah. Come on, weapons. Go like that. Go like... That. Ooh. I'm gonna ring your bell, creep. Ring a ding, ding, ding. Like this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, lots of good stuff.
get food. And any that we sell that. But yeah, if you come here without the uh, without Benny, the four guards would come, and you'd have to pretty much try to fight them off with that fucking full cue right here. Because uh, of course, unless you unlock that real quick. Shut up. Anything good? I am going to say no. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the caps. Later, random fresh apple. Stick around. This is what to do. Albano. Move! Got it. Alright. Hey there, pal. Welcome to the. T okay, can't do anything with that one, So, time to get out of here. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. I am the greatest of Kaisar's frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. Kai Kaisar awaits. Now, if y'all remember, he was the guy who we met down here in Nipton. He's the guy who was coming out of that building and first talked to us. So, we got to talk to Mr. House real quick. Partner, good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. And <laughs> where to, partner? You've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Our terms were clear. Now that you have the chip in your possession, an attempt to renegotiate payment would be tantamount to blackmail. This is not the time for Q&A. Kindly hand over the chip. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little 
relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed, on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. A great deal shall be happening. A cascade of events with you taking a central role. At the moment, however, all you need to do is take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level. You'll understand soon enough. educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securatron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. Absolutely not. Caesar is of great use to me. I don't want you harming a hair on that man's head, assuming you could find one. Oh shit. Don't let Will Smith hear you say that. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money. Though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future. For you, and for what remains of the human race. What did you want to discuss? That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the Platinum Chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, 
has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. What else did you want to discuss? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. To enforce, one must have force, a position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Indeed it was, and still is, but not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar, that attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a Legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harness the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. The salient issue is that they will go to war with me if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What else did you want to discuss? What of it? I enjoy them. There's something about a little diorama set inside a glass dome that I find pleasing. If you run across any out in the wastes, turn them in to Jane. She'll compensate you. What else did you want to discuss? <sighs> Hoover Dam, of course. A hydroelectric dam? The NCR had it up and running at 50% capacity within a year of occupying the dam. By treaty, New Vegas receives 5% of its output. More than enough. What else did you want to discuss? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. 
Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the Platinum Chip had arrived a day sooner. The Platinum Chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077, the day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon, but by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Penthouse floor. Casino floor. <laughs> we get to go meet Caesar. We get to go meet Caesar. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Great! I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Yeah. Aw, just when the standing around was getting exciting. Sorry. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped. But at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. Why does everyone always say that? Okay, then I guess I'll be back at the 188. Maybe digging in some dirt for scrap metal or something. All right, we're actually gonna go and get Ganon real quick. That way we can have him when we go to the uh, Meet Caesar. And hopefully be able to better yet it'd be hard to be faster just to go yeah just go here <laughs> Dan should be at one at the old moment fort 
Go there, get Ganon. Go to Cosmo Cove. And meet Siza. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't know what the fuck I do. about already. You're repeating yourself. Silly goose. What's up? There's something about that robot that doesn't seem all right to me. I'm not saying we shouldn't take it with us. I'm just saying that if it were to fall into Lake Mead and be irreparably damaged, and if you threw an EMP grenade in after it, well, there are worse things happening in the world, right? All right. Make sure we're gonna go to the gun runners real quick, see what we can sell. All the stuff I got, and then we are going to go to the fort. Welcome, sir or Matt. <laughs> so that, so that, so that, so. Actually, hold up. Gunny rifle. So Maria. So powerful. So many suits, so the armor, so all that, so all that, so all that, and all that because of course. Plenty of cats. Lots of cats. So that, that, don't care. So that, that. <laughs> Who are you? I don't know you. I need to talk to you. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Fuck you! That was just rude. I guess they're gone. Who's gone? Who are you? What are you talking about? Okay, you tweaking. Blue standing. Seeing things that aren't there. Let's see, give you those dog tags. You're the one Lucullus said would come. You'll find him waiting for you down at the docks. In hmm. Here, this 
is edible. Caesar's Legion a little happy. Happier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ow. Ow, Are you ready to head up river? I am Cursar Lucullus. And my orders are to escort you to the Legion's camp at Fortification Hill. Are you ready to go? You'll be meeting face to face with the mighty Kaisar himself, founder of the Legion, conqueror of 86 tribes. To my knowledge, this is the first time Kaisar has ever summoned one of the dissolute to see him. Not even tribal chieftains receive this honor. All who are not Legion are dissolute. They live in squalor, unrestrained by morality, lacking moderation, temper, and self-control. Their very existence is a blight on the common good. Even worse are the profligates, the subtype of dissolute one finds this side of the river. They hold themselves to be civilized, when in fact they are corrupt and self-interested. The truth will be made clear to them soon enough. You'd know better than I would, but you must be remarkable for Kaisar to take such an interest. I am pretty remarkable. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. Now yeah, it's gonna take a few hours. It's literally like right across from the fucking river. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. For now. Kaisar strictly forbids the use of chems and alcohol. By his order, all visitors must also relinquish their arms upon entry. If you come in peace, then there is no reason to not disarm. You will not be harmed unless Kaisar wills it. Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. I know not why Kaisar would wish to speak with such a physically inferior whelp, but I will allow this one exception. You may bear Kaisar's mark, but do not attempt to share any of your medicine with anyone in the fort. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. Going to meet the Kaiser. Going to meet the Kaiser. Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on? Am I playing Virgil to your Dante? I'd like to assume that we're tiptoeing into the mouth of hell out of academic curiosity. Hey. But I'm not so open-minded that I've lost my brains. Okay, you're breaking the game. Short of canceling our imminent travel plans, that's the best thing we could have said. Just be careful. If we travel at Caesar's pleasure, he may not let us out as easily as he lets us in. Okay. Need that as a right speech check. This gentleman right here. So you're the visitor I've heard some of the legionaries talking about. If you're in the mood to trade, just say the word. I haven't had the pleasure. I have crossed paths with Legate Lanius, his second in command, however. It was unpleasant. He's the best the Legion has to offer, or so the Legionaries say. Brute of a man, wears a fancy metal mask in a battle. He killed one of my pack Brahmins simply because it was in his way. I knew better than to complain about it, though. I'll grab. Here, S58. Shoot. No, sir. I'm an independent trader from Arizona. Not at all. They're my best customers. As long as you don't try to sell them chems or alcohol, they treat you fair. Hell, I don't even need to travel with guards most of the time in Legion territory. All the bandits are dead or run off. 
Between having to hire protection and getting slapped with taxes, it's more profitable to stick to Arizona and New Mexico. But I do cross the river from time to time when an opportunity comes along. Have a look. Let's see what you got. He has a bunch of miscellaneous bullshit. Kaiser. Yeah. That's exactly. That's my fame with Legion. Legion. Neutral. How am I neutral? Some bullshit. It's gonna fucking keep resetting by how they felt about me. Never would have fucking given them all the dog tags. You here to fight in the arena? Then you're talking to the right man. Maybe. Such as? Light armor and machetes only. The challenger, the one who asks to enter the arena, may be pitted against one or more opponents. All matches continue until one side is dead. No exceptions. I set up the fights, keep track of prisoners available, and make sure the arena's cleaned up. Most of the time, it's some young legionary trying to make a name for himself, hoping to get noticed by Kaisar or the Praetorians. We pit slaves or prisoners against each other once in a while, but it's not much of a show. They're usually too reluctant to kill each other. Like... A great warrior. When he was but a recruit, I watched him kill ten men in the arena with his bare hands. He doesn't feel pain, and he never ever shows mercy. If all legionaries were like him, the legion would be invincible. Oh, what? Let's go for a fight. That can be arranged. You will be facing off against a couple of disobedient slaves. Not much of a challenge, but it might be entertaining to watch. Remember the rules. Light armor and machetes only. And, of course, to the death. Good luck. Let's go, folk. You like that? You I pushed do. me too far. Damn! Come here, you hoe. Little oh, slut. Mercy! Damn! Come here. Get your words, right here. I'm out of here! Come here. Do you? Come here. No. Mercy! What you get? Okay. Oh. Okay, get out of here. As expected, it wasn't much of a fight, but what can you expect from slaves? There's a captured NCR trooper available, Sergeant Andrews. He's already been challenged once and survived, so he should be a worthy opponent. Careful in there. He's tougher than he looks. Man, little slut. Get some! 
Oh, I will. Come back. Yeah, he's dead. Because he's a hope. Good fight. Some NCR troopers can be competent fighters. I have a dangerous one for you. An NCR ranger by the name of Stella. We got lucky since we rarely capture rangers alive. Even though she's a woman, she's killed every man who's faced her in the arena. Even one of the elite Kenturians. With her bare hands. Watch out for her. She's one of the deadliest fighters I've ever seen. Now, she is actually, if you remember, one of the rangers in uh, Kim Charlie who got captured. Right. Ma'am. What the fuck? Do a lot of damage. Yeah, here. Uh, oh, yeah. After this, but you never know. Awe, true to him. Unbelievable. You stood against a ranger in single combat and survived. I did. Sorry, but there's nobody left who'd even be a challenge for you. Fine, be that way. Enter Kaiser's tent alone. Anyone else must remain outside. Yeah. Okay. Double. Yeah. Up. Or 
Fifteen. Move forward. Hello, Vicarious Our Wonderlust. True to Thank you for the follow. Hope you are doing well today. I am doing well. Everyone's doing well. This bitch. So, I finally get to meet the courier who's caused so much trouble for the new California Republic. You spread word of the massacre of Nipton, just like Wolf has asked you. You turn Camp Forlorn Hope into a mass grave. I get it. We share a common enemy. And now you come before the mighty Kaiser to what? Offer your services? You're welcome. Maybe I should have you struck blind so my face is the last sight you ever behold. Look, you do know why I wanted to meet you, right? A man nearly kills you so you track him across the breadth of the Mojave. You arrive on the strip and waltz into the Lucky 38 like someone left you a key under the doormat. You assassinate the head of the chairman in his own casino and get away with it. Then something happens to Mr. House's robot, some kind of military upgrade. When you set your mind to something, you get results. I like that. The question is, are you ready to get started? I have eyes and ears everywhere. It behooves me not to invade the West blind and deaf. It hasn't been hard to track your progress. It's not as though you've been keeping a low profile. True. The time is fast approaching when my legion will assault the Great Dam and invade the West. Before that happens, I want Mr. House knocked out of the game. A quick one-two punch, with you doing the punching. Hey, Big Dan. Glad you can make it. Hope you are doing well. I am doing well. <laughs> Down the hill, at the west edge of camp, is an old building. It was here when the fort was taken in 2277. Inside the building is a hatch. And inside that hatch are two steel doors that bear the sigil of the Lucky 38 Casino. Now that same sigil is on the platinum chip you were carrying. Isn't that interesting? Even more interesting, there's a slot about the same size as the chip on the console that opens the hatch. So you know what I think? I think the platinum chip opens those doors. Doors that can't be pried open or drilled open or blasted open. Because all that, I tried. I want you to destroy whatever you find in there. And then I want you to come back here and tell me about it. So go to the building and take this fucking platinum chip with you. My legionaries will meet you there, with your weapons and equipment. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. wait. As you can see, back here is his Mark II unit. There. Can't actually do anything. Which is me. It is a great honor for anyone outside the Legion to get an audience with Kaiser. We recently obtained an artillery weapon, but we don't have the part or the skill to fix it. The traitor Dale Barton salvaged it from a military base in Arizona. Yuma, I believe. The best marksmen of the NCR are usually at the rear of any battle. The gun will allow us to strike at them. The tribe calling themselves the Boomers is obsessed with such weapons, I've been told. You could probably find a spare firing mechanism there. He's the best warrior in the Legion. A full Legionary by the time he was 12, he's never lost a battle. Had the Legate been in command during the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Legion would have won. I have no doubt about that. No. Legate Lanius is Kaisar's second. The Legate replaced the Burned Man after the Legion's defeat at the dam several years ago. The Burned Man was Kaisar's advisor and general when the Legion was originally formed. The Burned Man led us to a disastrous defeat at the dam. On Kaisar's orders, the Burned Man was covered in pitch by the Praetorian Guard, lit on fire, and cast into the Grand Canyon. Kaisar has forbidden us from ever speaking his true name again. And so we simply refer to him as the Burned Man. It's a tradition in the Praetorians to specialize in unarmed combat, because weapons can break or jam when needed most. 
However, our unarmed techniques favor offense over defense. We can charge the enemy and flatten him with our first strike before he can react. I'll answer if I can. When I was a boy, the Legion conquered my tribe. I was chosen for training as a legionary. I fought in many battles for the Legion. Eventually, Kaisar chose me to lead his Praetorian Guard. It was a great honor. <laughs> the girls and women were enslaved, and many of the men and boys were also chosen to become legionaries. The rest were killed. We were savages. The Legion raised us up, made us better than what we were. What did you want to talk about? Okay, anyone else? Okay. Oh. I suspect you'll be a valuable asset to the Legion, assuming you're really on our side, of course. There's a gambler, Martina Grosbeck, who has a knack for learning other people's secrets and passing that information along for a price. The Omertas, who run Gamora, have become suspicious of Martina's frequent visits to their casino. Soon they'll pay her a visit of their own. Good. Martina frequents the Vault 21 gift shop on the Strip. Hurry along, and she still may be in one piece by the time you get there. True to Kaisar. Some of the slaves have been spreading stories about the All right, and if you let Benny go at the uh, casino, he would be right here because he tried to bargain with Caesar and messed up. We'll talk again when you've destroyed whatever is down there. Ah, fuck you, dude. The camps are getting crowded. Alright. Hey, Crazerbacks! Glad you can make it. Alright, need help with your engineering homework. What a load of Brahmin shit! Can you believe that guy? Well, yeah. Right. What did I expect? The man's a megalomaniac. He acts like this is some preordained cycle we're returning to. Of all the people who could learn from our past mistakes, he goes and throws all of our knowledge off a cliff. Instead of trying to learn from the past, he recreates it, runs back over the same old barren ground. He's a hook. Alright. There is the cannon. with your engineering homework. What kind of homework? Can I guarantee I will be of help because engineering wasn't my field of study, but I am a genius, so maybe I might know. Kaisar has permitted your weapons to be returned to you while you serve him. Kaisar has put a lot of trust in you. Be worth it. Caesar and a cell. That'd be good. Ooh, drugs. So, uh, call me hop. I think. Uh, random potato crisps. Please 
take cover. Alright. Here. Yeah. Well, the danger has been eliminated. I am the danger, motherfucker. Alright, here we go. Hello? No. More stuff we can get later. Not really worried about that. Random island weapon, good stuff. This would be good for my. Yes, man, playthrough. As I said, I am doing a NCR playthrough where I can't buy any weapons or ammo. I can only use what I'm given. And I am also. Good robots. Do not interfere with security okay, so you look like good robots. And I'm gonna do a Mr. House playthrough with uh, Mr. House playthrough doing a fists only uh, playthrough. Actually, fists only and uh, explosives. So kind of like this playthrough, but even. Less weapons I can use. Pretty good. I'm gonna take a right away. Okay, I kill you. Carried out Kaisar's will, but I must confiscate your equipment again. This bullshit. You're free to leave.
I want to talk to Arcadia. What's up? It could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. But really, as long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. Okay. Oh. I have enough affinity with Ganon. So that way I can do his quest. You must enter Kaiser's tent alone. You stay here. Up. Anyone else must remain. Wait here. Outside. I felt the ground shake a while ago. I'll take that as a sign you've got the job done. Let's press on, shall we? As I was telling you before, I want Mr. House out of the picture. You have an interest in his death, too. If he knows that you destroyed his gadgets beneath the fort, he will strike back. You know where to find him. How he dies, I leave up to you. What did you want to know? My Praetorians embody the martial ideals of my legion. Each one of them has done enough conquering and killing to deserve the rank of Centurion. Instead, I invited them to join my guard. So the invitee chooses whichever current guard he thinks is weakest and challenges him. The fight is to the death. It keeps them from getting complacent. Lucius has been the head of my guard for five years now. He was a subordinate guard for eight before that. No invitee has dared to challenge him yet. Maybe it's an issue of respect. He is getting on in years. What else did you want to know? Wulpes is the best of my frumentari. A remarkable individual from an unremarkable tribe south of the Utah. He was brought into the Legion as a boy. Survived training. Fought well enough as a legionary to be promoted to the rank of Decanus. Then in battle against an unimportant tribe, he broke ranks and led his contubernium through a hole in their defenses to capture its chieftain. Well, his Centurion wanted him crucified for disobedience, so I made him a frumentari. Whatever I require, infiltration, assassination, dramatic atrocities to break the spirit of the enemy at Ketera, they're mentally flexible. They operate behind enemy lines for extended periods, imitating the enemy's customs without becoming sullied. In all these things, Wolfus is a master. What else did you want to know? Linnaeus is the greatest of my battlefield commanders. Some might call him a great man, but I'm not sure he qualifies. Once, he was the greatest warrior of the Hydebarks, a tribe of the Arizona. Maniacal in battle. Sometimes he'd ambush Legion patrols by himself. When after several months we found and surrounded the Hydebarks camp, their chieftain raised a banner of surrender. The warrior who was not yet Linnaeus went insane with rage. He struck down his chieftain and attacked his own tribe. He killed 15 before they brought him down. He didn't die, obviously. I had him tended to. Really? All right, I'm gonna be right back. Get some more batteries. That'll be the last one.
All right, I am back, and let's do this. Right. He was maimed, most of his face torn off. It was days before he regained consciousness. When he did, I went to his bedside and showed him the helmet I'd had forged to cover his face. I said he could have it if he'd fight for me. He accepted, on condition that he be allowed to kill the surviving males of his tribe. I said, make it the adult males, and you have a deal. The Neus is savage. Savagely loyal, too, but only to me. He has no love for my legion. But this has its uses. He has no attachment to his men, no compunction about battlefield losses. All he cares about is destroying the enemy. When another Legatus or a Kenturian fails to achieve results, I send Lanius to make things right. His first step is to beat the failed commander to death in front of his assembled troops. Then he orders the ritual of Decimatio. It means decimation. But in ancient Rome, the word had a very specific meaning. A punishment for cowardice. The legionaries are lined up in ranks. Every tenth man steps forward and is beaten to death by his brothers. It instills a certain robust obedience. Yes, this time my legionaries will be more frightened of the commander behind them than the enemy before them. There will be no failure this time, no retreat, no years of gathering slaves and resources for another assault. With Linnaeus to drive the legion forward, the dam will be taken. It will be our bridgehead across the Colorado. It's not going to happen again, that's all I have to say about it. And I've heard it's a bad idea to tempt the wrath of Kaisar. Change the subject. Oh, he may. What else did you want to know? Do you want my opinion as a former citizen or future conqueror? Actually, my opinion is the same either way. As a young man, I was taught to venerate President Tandy of Shady Sands, the founding mother of the new California Republic. Did you know her presidency lasted 52 years? And that her father, Aradesh, was the Republic's first president? Does that sound like a democracy to you? Or a hereditary dictatorship? Because the council didn't dare oppose her. She was too popular. She had the people's love. So things ran smoothly, more or less. And as soon as she was gone, as soon as there really could be democracy, what happened then? Ever since losing its queen, the NCR has been weaker, more diffuse. Democracy has been its weakness, not its strength. Greed runs rampant. The government is corrupt, accepting bribes from Brahmin barons and landowners to the detriment of citizens. The NCR is a loose conglomerate of individuals looking out for themselves. It's lost virtue. No one cares about the collective, the greater good. It's not built to last. I'm just hastening the inevitable. Of course, the most powerful my legion has faced. Also the first to which I am ideologically opposed. Until now, every tribe I've conquered has been so backwards and stunted. Enslavement has been a gift bestowed upon them. My conquest of the Mojave will be a glorious triumph marking the transition of the Legion from a basically nomadic tribe to a genuine empire. Just as my namesake campaigned in Gaul before he crossed the Rubicon, so have I campaigned and will cross the Colorado. What else did I know he's a coward, hiding behind an army of robots ensconced in that tower of his like a wizard in one of those grognack comic books. Some say he's a man, others a machine. I don't care. He's in the way. What else do you... I've analyzed the region's tribe to determine how they might be useful. I may tell you more at a later time, if it suits me. What else did you want to know? Ironically, I was born a profligate myself, a citizen of the NCR. My family lived not far from the Great Boneyard. After raiders killed my father, 
My mother sought the followers' protection. I was two years old. She found work at their library, cooking and cleaning. I learned how to read, and soon I was taking courses, free of charge. Oh, yes, raised in that tradition. And the teaching stuck. I was taught it was my responsibility to bring the torch of knowledge to the waste. I may have taken the torch part more literally than they intended. When I was 20, the followers sent me east to Grand Canyon. It was my first expedition. Just me and a physician named Calhoun. As an anthropologist and linguist, my assignment was to learn the dialects of the Grand Canyon tribes. What a fucking waste of time. If you think it's worthwhile to make smart people learn how to talk like backward savages, you're a follower of the apocalypse, or an idiot. Anyway, we met up with a Mormon missionary who already knew a bunch of dialects, Joshua Graham. He was supposed to teach me, but before that went too far, the Blackfoot tribe captured us to hold us for ransom. They were a backward bunch, but the real problem was they didn't know how to fight. The Blackfoot were at war with seven other tribes, each just as pissant as they were. But outnumbered like that, they weren't going to last long. It's one thing to be taken hostage, another to be lashed to a sinking ship. So over Calhoun's objections, I decided to take certain steps. I taught them how to use the guns they already had, how to strip and clean them, how to breathe when pulling a trigger, how to reload ammunition. They looked at me like I was some kind of a sorcerer. So I taught them how to make explosives and started drilling them on small unit tactics. If there's anything I learned as a follower of the apocalypse, it's that there's a lot of good information in old books. Duide et impura, divide and conquer. I led the Blackfoot against the Ridgers, their weakest enemy. When they refused to surrender, I ordered every man, woman, and child killed. When next we surrounded the Kaibabs, and they likewise refused, I took one of their envoys to the Ridgers village and showed him the corpse piles. This was new for the tribes, you see. They played at war, raiding each other, a little rape and pillage here, a little ransoming there. I showed them total warfare. Like I said, there's a lot you can learn from old books. Kaibabs joined me, and the Fredonians after that. All the pissant tribes with names that should be forgotten. I knew from the start I'd need to eradicate this plague of tribal identities, replacing them with a monolithic culture, a uniform identity. So that's what I did once my confederation of tribes was large enough. I crowned myself Kaisar and created a single great tribe, my legion. I sent Calhoun, the follower captured with me back west, with a message that I should not be interfered with. Joshua Graham, the Mormon interpreter, stayed with me and served as my first legatus. That's right. Decades of warfare, absorbing lesser tribes, gathering power, forging the dross into a vast, razor-sharp scythe. My legion's expansion has never ceased. Much of the Utah and Colorado and all of Arizona and New Mexico are mine. We have cities of our own, but nothing compared to Vegas. Finally, my legion will have its Rome. What else did you want to know? I used Imperial Rome as the model for my legion precisely because it was so foreign, so alien. I'd seen what had become of the NCR's attempts to emulate the culture of pre-war America, the infighting, the corruption. Rome was a highly militarized autocracy that effectively integrated the foreign cultures it conquered. It dedicated its citizens to something higher than themselves, to the idea of Rome itself. In Rome, I found a template for a society equal to the challenges of the post-apocalyptic world, a society that could and would survive, a society that could prevent mankind from fracturing and destroying itself in this new world by establishing a new Pax Romana. It means a nationalist, imperialist, totalitarian, homogenous culture that obliterates the identity of every group it conquers. Long-term stability at all costs. The individual has no value beyond his utility to the state, whether as an instrument of war or production. 
No. I'll destroy it because it's inevitable that it be destroyed. It's Hegelian dialectics, not personal animosity. How do I put this basically enough? It's a philosophical theory, the kind you might encounter if you took time to read some books. The fundamental premise is to envision history as a sequence of dialectical conflicts. Each dialectic begins with a proposition, a thesis, which inherently contains or creates its opposite, an antithesis. Thesis and antithesis. The conflict is inevitable. But the resolution of the conflict yields something new, a synthesis, eliminating the flaws in each, leaving behind common elements and ideas. The bombs wipe the slate clean. Human civilization descended to a level of ignorance that effectively set our cultural progress back to zero. The NCR has all the problems of the ancient Roman Republic, extreme bureaucracy, corruption, extensive senatorial infighting. Just as with the ancient Republic, it is natural that a military force should conquer and transform the NCR into a military dictatorship. Thesis and antithesis. The Colorado River is my Rubicon. The NCR Council will be eradicated, but the new synthesis will change the Legion as well, from a basically nomadic army to a standing military force that protects its citizens and the power of its dictator. It's called an auto dock. As the name suggests, it's an automated physician, more or less. He can treat broken bones, cuts, punctures, scrapes. Sometimes I bestow its use upon someone I favor. Makes for a powerful gift in a culture that forbids painkillers and is largely ignorant of medical science. Good. Don't know what kind of security he has inside the Lucky 38, but if you can find a way of catching him off guard, do so. Time to kill Mr. House. Time to kill Mr. House. Unfortunately, we cannot test trouble. Actually, let me check. Can I fast trouble? Wait. Is it? Oh, okay. We can't fast trouble out here. Soft-hearted devil makes no sense at all. Okay, idolized. Okay. So maybe next time I go to the fort, I'll try to see if I can get the. Uh, uh, the key to the uh, Legion safe house. Like 
いて I should have just gone to the fucking. gone to the fort instead of fucking giving Mr. House that chip. I was worried this was gonna happen. Now I gotta fight through those fucking powerful ass. Skeletrons. <laughs> the strip's not a bad place if you love terrible things. All right, again. Actually, if you do kill Mr. House, uh, you can still turn in the snow globes or uh, caps. So you don't have to worry about finding all of them before turning them in. Come closer. 
Come to me. Come to me, bro. And I'll go like that. What's up? It could be. Okay. You follow me. Okay, he's following. Mm -hmm. Actually, I figure we might as well go talk to the boomers real quick since we're already out here.
I think we need to talk to Pearl about this. Friend, how can Mother Pearl be of help today? You may find one in the workshop. You're a friend to the tribe, so I trust it will not find its way into the wrong hands. Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. Ye. Yeah. By order of Kaisar, all visit your belong Awe. True to Kaisar. Awe, are you ready to I wish I could fast travel to Caesar's tent, because this whole going through the camp thing slightly tedious. Okay? Slight problems with New Vegas. I'm harsh on the children, but they'll be excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, so that been a slightly long day. Let's get the stream and stream my favorite game. mechanism. Away. True to Kaiser. You must enter Kaiser's tent alone. Anyone else? You've proven yourself to be a true friend of the Legion. We have a safe house available to our agents in the Mojave. Here's the key. 
It's an excellent place to rest and store extra equipment. In addition, one of our veterans, Atticus, visits the house every few days. While he's there, you can acquire items useful for stealthy operations against our enemies from him. Well done. It will be very useful in the coming battle against the snipers the NCR will no doubt have hidden in the hills near the dam. Mm -hmm. I've read Mr. House's obituary. Had a high opinion of himself, didn't he? With Mr. House out of the way, I can focus on smoothing out a few lingering complications elsewhere in the Mojave. First up are the boomers of Nellis Air Force Base, a tribe so reclusive it lobs artillery shells at anyone who comes near their settlement. I want you to offer them an alliance with my legion. My terms are simple. Target their guns against the NCR side of the dam when I assault it, and they can keep their freedom. If you find they aren't amenable to this offer, destroy them. Is that so? You are good, aren't you? If the boomers will toe the line, I can focus on other preparations. But not without first rewarding your initiative. Now, moving on. I want you to forge an alliance between Kaisar's Legion and the White Glove Society. They used to be cannibals. I expect that information can be used to manipulate them. Go to. Oh, see, God tweaking. Damn it. Never this bad before. Fuck this. I'm going to lie down. Come back later. Tomorrow. God damn it. Go away. Come back when I've had some sleep. A week. Maybe two. It doesn't matter. Disturb me again, and I'll have you killed. I warned you! Pray to what? Oh shit! You'll pay for that! What the fuck? Oh, come on! This is bullshit! You've proven yourself to be a... I've read Mr. God damn it! Oh, disturb me again. I don't give a fuck about the answer. Alright, we're in our Caesar, White Love. Continuing work with the NCR. Tread on the bear. Is there any. You don't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I forgot to do that. Completely forgot that. Let's do that real quick. I might vilify. So, Freeside likes me. Rumors, idolize, like me, idolize, idolize, like, likes, idolize, fuck them, likes, don't care, and add some bullshit. Oh, what the fuck? Thank you for visiting. They want me to come get me.
Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? How the hell are you getting here? Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. You're already in here, why don't you just bug him? Hey, if you've been able to bug Miss Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Hopefully. We're gonna go visit the Legion safe house. Which is all the way down here. We've always visited, just haven't gone into it yet. Okay, here we go. Uh, word me for a second. So ten, eight.
Okay, mm -hmm. where are... Where's our key in it? I have a feeling they are still in the strip somewhere. Alright, let's go get those dumb asses. Oh, they still at the floor. I forgot to let him come with me. That's okay. By order of Yes, bullshit. Ah wait. After you discover the fort, why not just have it? You go to fucking Caesar's tent. So they gotta run all the fuck way up there. Just like Camp McCarran. It's like if you wanna go to uh, Contreras' little shack, you gotta go all the way through the airport. See if the NCR is finally gonna fucking do something to me. Actually had an NCR hit squad. A mess with me. Maybe let's see. I know. Where's that? Ranger Station. Charlie. I know that Legion always attacks me if I'm over there around there. So. Usually if you have bad affinity with the NCR or Legion, their hit squads will come out oh, like right around over here, I think. Let me see. And actually I do think there are some Like over this hill, there are some centurions. Pretty much, it's like a little legion camp, I believe. It should be.
Yeah. Little Legion camp. That way, if you're like, let's say, NCR or something like that, you want to kill some easy Legion in Harry's. Kill these. And as well. Fuck you. That machine looks like a floating eye. I don't like it. Fuck you. Alright. That'd be funny if the NCR hit squad came around here. Alright, so what else can we do? Quest. Don't care. No time for that. Hmm. Back to Good Springs, drop off some stuff, and then call it a night. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what? One thing I noticed we haven't done is check out the school over there because I know when the game first starts one of the things they t tell you you can do is visit the school and see some of the stuff in there actually let's check out a uh, in here. Or is that just like an empty ship? I think that's an empty ship. Can I go in here anymore? Victor! Ah, fuck it, Victor. Go inside the police. And there we go. Alright, this is Victor's shack. Place you can go into. I like it. Oh, yeah, I will do that. Use that right now on little baby. Good stuff. Alright. I'm going to say this little shack that Victor uses. Probably can clear it out later. This is another place we can use. Get water from. Anything else good here? Yeah, we'll take all that. Alright, so I guess if maybe you could possibly use this place as a base of operations when first starting out the game. But I like my little spot. We will go check out the schoolhouse real quick. Hang on here. Yeah, anytime you ever see a mailbox, I always want to check it out. Because you never know what kind of stuff you might find inside. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. What a shame. Let them deal with those guys. Mantises. Looking good. Probably not. Lots of books. But there is a oops, like a there is a safe in here. that you can either use the computer on, or just hack it, or just lockpick it. But I know earlier in the game, starting out, kind of limited. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a 
a schoolhouse, even though there's no kids in around here. It's kind of weird because you figure the size of the schoolhouse, there would be more children around, or at least a bigger population. You know, considering the number of you know, fuck ton of bobby pins here. Should go in here first. Oh. You now you just figure the population the place would be bigger they're on the size of the school but you got to figure some of the population probably left after the great war That's just... All right, let me go drop off stuff call it quits here thank you for showing up and hopefully you will join me next tuesday when i do some fortnite play that for the first time hopefully you had a good time watching the stream and hopefully i will see you next time all right who am i going to read